We are live on location at the Bethany Arts Festival. Sitting next to me is the lovely and certainly uh, very talented and very busy over the last couple of weeks, Christy Baravelli, the executive director of the uh, Bethany Beach Fenwick Island Chamber of Commerce. Christy, it's just been a couple of minutes since the, this whole event started. And my goodness, look at the crowd already. I know. It's such a great feeling. We had people milling around here around 8, 830, and it seemed to really pick up about 9. And it's a beautiful day. It's a little humid, but this breeze coming off the water oh, man. is yeah. wonderful. Couldn't get much better than yes. that. Uh, and I know it's been a hot week, you know, but uh, if you if you want to get on down and cool down and have some fun and see some of the most incredible artisans and crafters and artists and uh, we've got a band as well. All kinds of things going on here, and it's happening from now until? till 5 o'clock today, right in downtown Bethany on the boardwalk and through town, and our businesses are open. It's a really nice vibe, really nice energy. It's it's really fun. It is a cool vibe, and I had a chance to walk up on the boardwalk. And, and by the way, if you were concerned, if you've been in the area and, and those flies have been biting pretty bad this week, but the wind is off the ocean now, and uh, so, you know, bring your dog, bring your kids, bring your family, and come on down and, and uh, enjoy it. This is the place to be today. Correct. We have over 100 artists from all around the country and some of our local favorites as well. Here we have the Mystic Warriors playing. We're doing, we just opened our silent auction, and all the proceeds of, to that go to all of our local elementary arts programs. So we, we put the money towards there. That only goes till 2 o'clock today. That's a change. So if you like the silent auction, get in the car right now. And we're also doing the public vote for the $1,000 high school scholarship. Boy, I tell you what, I went up on stage and looked at some of those projects, and uh, I, I, I like the Hendrix thing. I, 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 you know, it's it's kind of tough to vote against the Hendrix guy, but uh, there were some incredible artists, and and the one kid that uh, uh, decorated the set of vans. Yes, a uh, pair of shoes. A pair of shoes. Tennis shoes, and I believe it was a a young woman. She went all the way in, like all uh, oh, the way yeah, in. Oh, yeah, yeah, down into the soles and inside the shoes. I mean, it is really, it, somebody spent a lot of time on that. The the prints, the uh, the artwork, it's just amazing. And everything here is for sale. So if you want to get something for your holiday uh, shopping, get here early. Uh, or if you want to get something for your beach house or for your apartment or for your townhouse or whatever, this is the place to come as well. Yes. And the nice thing that I really appreciate about this show is that, you know, if you want to spend $20 or less, you can find, you know, a great little thing. Or if you're really looking for that piece in your house to make it stand out, that's all here as well. There's some big pieces of artwork here. Oh, there are. And, and great stuff for over the couch, great stuff for your bathroom, great stuff. And, and the car, wood carvings and, and metalwork. It, it's just, it is absolutely amazing. And this is bigger and better than last year. And the weather's better, too. Yes, knock on wood. But that's what we were saying last year at about this time. So Yeah, knock on some, some heavy wood. All right, so we're going to be here all morning, and uh, Christy and I are going to take a walk through the exhibits and talk to some of the uh, the uh, artisans and uh, painters and artists. And uh, you need to be here. Plenty of parking. Plenty of parking. And if you have to do a loop or two, um, people can go to St. Anne's, which is just east on Route 26 and park. I'm sorry, west. East, you'll west. be parking in the ocean. Yeah, which wouldn't be a bad thing on some days. <laughs> no, but we have a sh uh, the trolley is going from St. Anne's, and people can park there uh, free of cost as well. But if you want to throw a little to the Lord, that'd be um, okay. Our pottery and our porcelain, uh, they work the hardest, I think, of bringing all of their uh, all of their artwork up to the boardwalk. But obviously, it's it's so beautiful. It and is. I, I love the the barnacles on the uh, on the teapot and the and the coffee cups. Yes, and it's a little <laughs> bit. I mean, everything's and this is the other great thing. Everything is just a little bit different as you walk around. Um, you can really just see the varied arts, and uh, there's something for your home here. I can I can guarantee it. No question, uh, no question about that. Of course, we're at the uh, 38th annual Bethany Beach uh, Arts Festival. I'm Bob Steele along with Christy Maravelli, and we're walking the boardwalk, and, and we want to thank Walt for uh, putting together this mobile uh, rig that he does so we can, we can walk around a little bit and see some of the artists that we haven't been able to see last year uh, because uh, the, uh, uh, we, we were kind of tied to the van. But now, because of technology and, uh, and 
all of the interesting things that Walt has assembled here, we can actually walk around and, and kind of goof off a little bit, and we're not tied to one spot here. Uh, I just wanted to see some of this, uh, the uh, the chains here and uh, and beautiful uh, necklaces and stuff. How Yes, on the boardwalk, um, we have our booths are a little bit smaller, so we have more of, more of our jewelers mm -hmm. um, up here on the boardwalk. And uh, what a great day to be on the boardwalk. Some days, some arts festival is a little warm, but today is gorgeous. It certainly is. Uh, so tell us a little bit about what's going on with our silent auction. So there's a, a lot going on. So artists, the majority of artists, and pretty much everybody gets involved. But they donate a piece of work, mm -hmm. and you can get some great work for maybe a little less than retail value. Sure. And um, like I stated earlier, all the money that we get, that we earn from this, goes, we divide it equally among the four local elementary school art programs. That is very cool. So, yes, it's, it's really exciting. It's best we go in and we take a day and afternoon and give the checks out, and it's just really neat to see. And then also on the bandstand, we have the Quiet Resorts Charitable Foundation, which is our arm, which is our charitable arm. But we are doing a public vote. We have five pieces of artwork done by juniors or seniors in high school. And we're doing a public vote. And whoever gets the most votes today is going to walk away with a $1,000 scholarship. $1,000. To college, How yes. cool is that? Now, I see everything from kind of a, a metal kind of looking thing to the vans uh, that are decorated. We see uh, there's a picture of uh, a, I, I think it's a metal work kind of uh, Hendrix shot and uh, then a really interesting like beach painting of a girl with a, with a hat. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of really cool stuff. And this is all done by high school kids. All done by high school kids. It makes me think every time it comes in, it comes in every May, we put it on display yes. over the That's summer. Amazing. We are, we're blessed with all these great people. Now, I'm looking, I'm seeing Chamber Nautilus here. This looks like some shell art. We should uh, walk on over here. It's yes. kind of beachy. It's very unique as well. And uh, they seem to be quite busy. You know what's so <laughs> impressive? The, the, all these artists come up with just these little boxes and we're, you know, carrying it all up. And then they have beautiful displays. This is absolutely amazing. Such um, as these. And, and uh, believe it or not, I used to work at what's now the Shell Shop in Fenwick Island. It used to be Ruth's Shell Shop uh, in between uh, lifeguard gigs and, and DJing work. And uh, I used to cut chambered Nautilus just like this with a, uh, with a lop saw. And oh, wow. this is a, uh, you know, this, the way these are cut... And, and displayed here is really incredible. Uh, it's very difficult to get them that thin and uh, and then to use them in that kind of design. And this is all like uh, seafoam greens and blues and stuff, very, very beachy. Yes, and very, like as you stated, very intricate. And again, and I mentioned this a little bit earlier, the majority of our artists, there's the pieces, they have it from, you know, very affordable. I mean, if you just need something to, you know, want to walk away with some pocket change, or if you really want to make an investment, um, you have a little bit of everything. Now they are mainstays, and they he has a gallery right up the street. But he come on, he comes down here and also uh, peddles his wares. It's still a great place for people to find out about you. you yes. Know, so. so tell us a little bit. I, I see you've got the iconic tower and and beach scenes all over. But uh, what is your what does your gallery specialize in? We uh, we work mostly with uh, you know images from uh, Cape Henlopen on down to Assateague, but we have some from my travels to the islands and out west as well. I see you have the iconic Indian River Inlet Blue Bridge there, and uh, that uh, you know that that and the clock tower are probably two of the uh, the that yeah look at look at that look at that picture. That was with opening night. That was uh, walked out on the uh, jetty there. Mm -hmm. It was uh, Memorial Day weekend. And, and then I see you have a, a oh. The, the picture of the uh, the totem pole out in front of Bethany Beach there. That's uh, again some iconic work. Yes, sure, absolutely. So. Uh, I love the towers and and the uh, little Sitka deer in front of it. Uh, uh, that's a uh, that's kind of neat with the marshy kind of water. And uh, then here's another one with uh, a full orange moon uh, and one of the uh, oh. the observation towers from Fort Miles. Uh, these are just some really cool beach style pictures you know you. not just the sunsets and the sun sunrises like everybody but there you go there's I, i'm gonna i should get that one i'm old ocean city beach patrol lifeguard and you've got a lifeguard stand and a sunrise there uh it does it's called off duty off duty is right <laughs> yeah because uh, uh we we used to have the, to drag the, those stands back before nine o'clock i mean you're on your own but uh that's it 
That's Anyhow. it. That's gorgeous. And, of course, the framing that you do is incredible as well. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, how, do we, how do we get in touch with you? Uh, we have a gallery right here in Bethany, right underneath the arcade downtown here. And uh, you can take a card or you can... Uh, there you go. You can uh, visit the website. Visit the website. Visit the gallery. Yep. It's Michael or... Or line. Our line and, at uh, Bethany Fine Arts Gallery. I'm Bob Steele. BethanyFineArts.com. There you go. Okay, BethanyFineArts.com. Another local artist, John Donato, and you've probably heard of John before. Not only is he peddling his wares as well, he also does a live, this is a big thing John does, he does murals. So kids can come up, kids of all ages can of come up age. and paint and add something to the mural. And John actually does them around the region and actually has even expanded to our mid-Atlantic region. <laughs> hey and John, how you doing? John. Come on over. Let me, I'll let you say hi to him. I'm Bob Steele. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Great, GM Bob. This is incredible. I, I'm loving the moo. Like <laughs> the, cow, surf, huh? the surfing moo. So uh, what is it? What are you doing here? I mean, this looks like uh, 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 an in-progress uh, situation. Yeah, it's a, it's a small-scale community mural. Okay. And what we're doing is these five panels are going to be, they're sort of a, a, a single mural that are going to be broken apart. Mm -hmm. And each will be a standalone piece of artwork that's going to get donated to the local schools. And they're free to do what they want with it. If they want to hang it in the school, they can do that. If they want to auction it off to raise some money for their arts, they can do that. See, I was thinking that maybe you were going to change the panels around after it was all done and, and confuse the heck out of everybody. Well, we could do that, too. <laughs> that would be fun. And that would make it more interesting. I think so. <laughs> as long as you come back to paint it. Okay, I'll be happy to help out. So uh, so anybody can come in and, and step right up. And anybody. You hand them a brush and some paint and you whatever need. color they want, and away you go. No experience needed. we got stenciling. You can just paint in shapes, things like that. Christy in the end. said, no experience, we're good. Yes, yeah. and John does these murals in communities all of the time. Maybe you can share a little bit of some of the murals you've done recently. Yeah, I've done uh, everything from school murals where the entire school will paint, mm -hmm. and they're usually based on some curriculum that the schools are really trying to drive home. So the, the entire school, the staff, the teachers, everybody will work on those projects with me, as well as um, buses that community use in agriculture. They paint those. So sure. Uh, the town of Berlin is doing something with a community mural in their visitor center. But the idea is that we try to get as many people together as possible that normally wouldn't work together or see mm -hmm. each other in the community to, to create something truly unique for that community. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's really awesome. And you, and you just do this out of the goodness of your heart. And, yeah. and, of course, around the side, I'm sure we have some, some of your work as well. So we'll have yeah. to take a look at that. But this is what a great idea. Yeah. Well, it's one thing that I can do for the community. And it has a big impact, so I'm more than happy to do it because it's the one thing that I can do. Well, give. thank you on behalf of the community for what you do. Thank you know, you. one of the things that I've, I've noticed, and, and this is, this is as, uh, thanks so much, my friend, Christy, as, as uh, we get more and more involved with, uh, with this area, uh, WGMD, myself coming back into the area after being away for a while, uh, we're finding more and more people just like him want to do something. They just want to yes. do a little something for the community. Yes. We actually, we, uh, we did a day of service at the chamber, and we helped him with the, helped John with the mural up in Milford. It's pretty awesome. That's what it's all about down here. Well, we're up on the boardwalk, and the only thing that's missing is you. We're out and about. It's the Bethany Beach, 38th Annual Bethany Beach Arts Festival. I'm Bob Steele along with Christy Maravelli, and uh, we're live on WGMD 92.7. WGMD. There you go. <laughs>